Welcome back to another video. This one's starting a lot differently. I am finishing the grind rail right here. I'm just putting rubber on the bottom of it so it will not slide around. You may have saw in the background those two by fours. I've got about 12 two by fours um, for, a, for a quarter pipe that I'm building today. Hopefully, I hope everything goes to plan. And I have my 10 sheets of plywood right there. Five half inch, three masonite, and two OSB. So with all of that, I think I should be able to build a eight foot long, three foot tall quarter pipe. Okay, this behind me is my extremely official and not ghetto at all miter saw setup. Over here you have some two by twos and some angle iron as the um, support. I think these are one and a half by one and a half. Not really sure, but it should work. So might as well try it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get to cutting the two by fours then because I think that would be the first step. Okay, I have now traded out my super ghetto work table for a OSB sheet. This is what the radiuses on the sides are built out of. This stuff though is disgusting. It has tons of formaldehyde and stuff in it and it smells horrible. I hate it, but that's what I have to use for the sides so they don't break down in the snow and rain. So I'm gonna try and start cutting the radiuses then on it. And if you're wondering how I'm gonna cut the radius, like to mark it out, I have this little setup right here. I've got one screw right there. And it goes into that board right there. And that screw acts as a pivot point. So this arm can turn. And then since I'm doing a six foot radius, I have a hole right here at six feet. And then I have a pencil sticking inside that board, which is the one that goes all the way down there. And then I'm just gonna slide this along. And that's how I'll be marking everything out. Oh. This is the end of the pencil now. It's very flat. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a jigsaw and cut out the radius. Okay, I got the first radius cut out of this piece. You can see right where I cut it, right through here, and over through there. Now I'm gonna use that piece as a template and then just flip it over and cut out the other half with the other piece on the other half of this piece of OSB. Okay, I got all the radiuses right behind me, all four of them, because I'm building the ramp in two different sections, so I can move it around so it's one four-foot section and another four-foot section. I think that'll be easier in general. So here are all the four different pieces stacked on top of each other. I just need to make a cut right there, because this piece is gonna break off, so I need to just cut it off. And then I need to drill a hole, just like this, in the corner of all of them for the coping, because I am actually putting coping on mine. Okay, now I just need to drill a hole right here. Okay, I am done shaping those radius side part things. Now we just need to start assembling everything together.
Okay, I got the ribs all the way up to here. Right here is where the coping's going. And this one supports the back of the coping. So I can screw into this one to put the coping in. So I just need to put two boards in here and then I'm done with all the ribbing. I'm gonna quick show you one thing that you can do if you're building a ramp by yourself that makes it a lot easier. Oh my gosh, my hair. So hold the board in place while you screw everything together. Just put in one screw poking out just a little bit because this screw, since it's poking out a little bit, will hold this in place. So then you can get the other side aligned and then you can screw this in. Just like that. Okay, I have all the ribs put in. Now I just need to go cut that big coping. We have a software, I just need to grab it because it's still in a box and it's really heavy. I need to find a way to move it all the way from our detached garage, or well, from the non-detached garage to the detached garage. This is my idea on how to get it down there. Oh no. Okay. So it's kind of a hill there, so it kind of wanted to go very quickly down the hill. Okay, I think I finally figured out how the saw works. Okay, I had to relocate the saw into indoors, so it shoots little metal pieces inside instead of outside. Just in a little corner over here. And I'm gonna keep this camera about as far away as I'm keeping the gasoline away from this thing, because I don't want to break my camera with fire. Actually, I should probably move that gas a little bit farther away. Okay, now I'm gonna cut it. Now it is the right size for the ramp. Now I need to drill two holes in it so I can run screws into it so it will stay there. Okay, I got it outside, and now I need to start putting on the plywood for the top. Yeah, I do, it does not like to be defense <laughs> like this. Okay, the first layer's on, it's a little bit too big. It goes that far, so I need to cut off about right there, and I can take that chunk and actually move it to up here and it's just gonna be big enough. And I'm gonna put a layer on top. I'm gonna put masonite on top to cover it and make it smooth. But before I do that, I really wanna just skate down it. So I'm gonna do exactly that. I should probably wear this. Yeah, I was gonna need that platform on the top before I can skate it, or scooter it, or whatever it's called at this point. So I'm pretty sure prop this up, then I can cut this off to the right size. So I'm gonna use these bricks to prop it up. Okay, I finally finished this first layer of plywood. So then you put masonite on top of it and potentially one more layer of plywood before the masonite. But at least I can it kind of skate it now because the bottom is now cut and I've got a top. So I should at least try skating it, right? I mean, it's not nearly complete, but it's I can skate it at least now. Apparently I am actually gonna need to trim more off of here because if you look, there's a gap right down here. So that needs to be trimmed more, but I'm too impatient for that, so I'm gonna skate it now. Before I can scooter, I need to move that four-wheeler. So it won't actually start, so I'm just gonna have to turn the quarter pipe so I don't run into it. Oh, I'm scared. I'm gonna ride up it first a few times. <laughs> this coping 
is tripping me up. It's really high. Nope. That coping is way too tall. I need to put something there to make it shorter. So I think I'm actually just gonna throw a sheet of masonite on there. I just need to cut it down. And hopefully that should be enough so it's not as sketchy with the coping. Okay, I've got mason out on top, which reduced this lip right here a lot. It's like that instead, which I'm hoping will be a lot better. My radius is a little steep. I don't know why I did that. So I would not recommend a six foot for six foot radius for the first ramp you ever build because it's hard to scooter. I would do seven or eight feet. Much nicer, I would think. But I think I'm gonna quick throw on the masonite and see if that makes any difference. Just remember, I first actually need to trim a little bit off the bottom because it's still sticking up. So I'm gonna do that first. Okay, that's cut. I just need to take it off this thing and put the masonite on now. Okay, that is all the screws. This thing has now been screwed down and now there's masonite on here, which should be a lot nicer. We oh gosh. Okay, yep, this is slippery. 